In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two things that I guarantee will put your reef tank on track to be successful. This video will be super helpful even if you already have an established tank, but to demonstrate these tips in a better way, I'm going to be setting up this brand new 20 gallon tank by Innovative Marine. This is one of their all-in-one peninsula style tanks, perfect for beginners. For me, it's gonna serve as a room divider between my bed and the door. I thought about putting the tank on my dresser, but Innovative Marine recently came out with their new line of APS stands, which are non-corrosive and won't swell or warp under the weight. Plus, the wood finish matches my dorm room's existing furniture, and I can also store my ATO equipment underneath. So it was a pretty easy decision for me to go ahead and also pick up their matching APS stand. I added live sand by Carib C and used dry Marco Rock to aquascape the tank. Then I used RPM salt by Fritz Aquatics, which is the fastest dissolving salt on the market to mix 20 gallons of salt water for the tank before filling it up. So far, a pretty typical setup, but now that we're ready for this tank to cycle, I'll let you in on my first key to success. Number one, adding good beneficial bacteria to your reef tank even long after it's finished cycling. So first for the newbies, let's talk about what you should do once you get to the point that my tank is currently at. Most fish stores are gonna tell you to sit, wait, and not add anything for 30 days because your tank needs to cycle. Aww. Cycling the tank is the step that everybody hates and not a lot of people want to take the time to really understand. So most people will just take that fish store's advice, wait out the 30 days, and hope that the nitrogen cycle happens on its own. But there's a quicker way to do it. Yay! Instead of waiting weeks for bacteria to develop on its own, you can go out and Fritz Aquatics has a product here called TurboStart 900. This product contains a really high concentration of live nitrifying bacteria. All I needed was a small one ounce bottle which treats 25 gallons and you can just add this to your tank manually. To keep the bacteria alive though, you're gonna need a source of ammonia. So there's two ways to do this. You can either drop a fish in the tank which produces ammonia for that bacteria to consume or if you're gonna do a fishless cycle like I'm about to do, you can go out and for a few bucks at your local fish store, buy a small amount of ammonia in a bottle. So once you've added the recommended dose of ammonia, you have instantly started the process of cycling your tank, and this should finish very, very quickly. I've used Turbo Start to cycle multiple tanks all in less than a week. Wow. With this tank, it actually cycled it in three days. Wow. 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 If you already have a tank set up and cycle, then you know that when you do water changes, they're really good because you're taking out the bad nutrients. But over time, you can also be draining your tank of really good bacteria. Fritz Aquatics offers another product called Fritzyme 9. And basically, this is a less concentrated form of turbo start that you can use on established tanks. I use this every few months on my established tanks to replenish that good bacteria. I turn off my flow and pour the recommended dosage into my tank, allowing it to settle all over in my filter, the sand, and in the rocks, which is re-strengthening the foundation of my tank's water. Now as long as you don't go crazy overboard, there's no such thing as really too much good bacteria. So whether you're just starting out and you need to cycle your tank, or you've been in the hobby for a few years, the first way to set up your reef tank for long-term success is to add bacteria. Once the tank is cycled, the second way to make sure you set up your tank for success is to incorporate a refugium in your filtration. Once you got all this awesome bacteria in your tank, it's going to start producing these bad nutrients called nitrate and phosphate. The most common way of removing these is by doing water changes, which are really annoying. And so you can minimize doing these water changes by setting up a refugium. I already did a video on how to set these up in sumps for really big tanks. The link to that video is in the description below. But in this video, I wanted to share with you how to set one of these up in the back chambers of your all-in-one nano reef because a lot of people don't think you can do it, but you can. Yes, you can! The filters of all-in-one tanks like this are usually divided into three chambers. One in the beginning that always holds the filter media, one at the end that always holds the return pump, but then there's one in the middle that's open. So a lot of people put things like protein skimmers or media reactors here. But what I recommend you do with this open slot is set up an ultimate mini refugium. The first thing you'll need is Marine Pure Block. This is a better and more porous version of Live Rock that will give the good bacteria a place to live. Next, 
you want to add copepods and phytoplankton, which are little microorganisms that make up the bottom of your tank's food chain. These are really important to add even if you already have a tank set up with fish in it because it increases the tank's biodiversity. Finally, you want to add a good type of macroalgae like this one called Kato, which actually feeds off of and removes those excess nutrients. You can get all of this stuff from a company called algaebarn.com. They offer all of these products together on their website in a refugium starter pack. They come in different sizes and are perfect for beginners setting up a refugium. And you can use the discount code CORALFISH12G at checkout for 10% off your order. One last thing you'll need to set up your refugium is a light for that macroalgae to grow. If you have a nano reef like this, I highly recommend an accessory innovative marine cells called the Cato Max, which is a light that you can hang over or attach to the outside wall of your refugium. It only uses red and blue light, which is way more efficient to grow macroalgae than using a plain white light. After adding that, you'll have the ultimate mini refugium set up to conquer any bad nutrients that come your tank's way. So that's the second way to set up your reef tank for success, add or incorporate a refugium in your filtration. I really hope you'll consider applying one of these two methods to your tank. Before I go, I want to announce who the three winners of the Algae Barn giveaway are from my last video. Congratulations to Caitlin, Ignacio, and Nancy. You guys are the winners of the Algae Barn Ultimate Refugium Starter Packs. Check your emails for instructions on how to claim your prizes. For everyone else, don't worry, I do giveaways on this channel all the time. In fact, we're coming up on 50,000 subscribers. When we hit that, I'm going to be giving away a full tank setup to one of you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. And even if you don't want a free tank, subscribe because I'll be continuing to do updates on this tank. I recently just added the main display light and water pump which are part of the loop system by Current USA. As you can see the tank is really long and their Orbit 24 to 36 inch light is the perfect match for it. I also wanted to demonstrate that there is a controllable light and pump system sold at an affordable price so if you're a student like me on a budget this may be the perfect setup for you. Altogether, around a few hundred bucks. I'm really excited to show you guys what livestock I end up putting in this tank in the coming weeks. But until then, remember to keep your nitrates low. George, out. <laughs>